Hey guys, I'm Mickey Mabaki here for another video. Guys, today we have a new title update in Ultimate Team. And real fast, the first update of this update is going to be this right here. As you can see now, we have the team strategy and the team visuals. So, pretty much, if you're using uniforms like the Zero Chill uniforms, 4 plus to your players, you can still use them, but these are not going to be uniforms you use in the game. These are just going to be uniforms for the chemistry boost. Now we go ahead and go to team visuals. These are going to be the players you get in game. So for example, I can use John Madden as my boost to all my players. But if I don't want to have John Madden as my coach in the game, I can choose any other coach. So theoretically speaking, I can choose Andy Reid. If I want Andy Reid instead of John Madden, I can use him in game. Now of course his KC boost does not boost anything. Same thing with the Ravens tier 3 training I don't get any of those boosts but they're still in the game if you guys make if that makes sense so on the sidelines you will see Andy Reid and Ravens uniform even though I'm using John Madden and these so these are just for chemistries and these are just for your appearance you know just for your visuals just to make that a little bit more fun and to be honest I love this because a lot of times I use the Zero Chill uniforms, I don't like them, but they give me the boost. I have to use them. Same thing with John Madden. I don't always love to have the same coach every single time, but sometimes you have to because, you know, that's just how it works. But now you don't have to. Now, there is this pack in the game, which I don't think is worth it at all. You get one of six coaches, one of the six competitors. You get one of four of your choice, saying um, 93 overalls. I think it's Ronnie Lott, Barry Sanders, and like two other guys. It's 93 overalls though, so I wouldn't do it, but you guys can obviously make your own decisions, but I would not recommend opening up that pack. It's $10 for a NAT 93, a coach that didn't give any kind of boost, and two uniforms. I don't think it's worth it, but let's get right into the title update. I added logic so that the weak box exploit manager <coughs> does not trigger versus AI controlled opponents. Penalty results in frequent uh, pancake blocks by the offense. Adjustion issue causing quarterback to gunsling ability to throw touch passes instead of board passes. Address an issue that would occasionally prevent ball carriers from being tackled directly following a broken tackle animation. Address an issue causing defenders to occasionally give up on the play during some broken tackle animations. Address, address the jump, uh, jumping sideline catch animation that would often force players to land out of bounds, which is an issue. Pretty much, guys, if you go to the sideline, you possession catch, you try to toe tap, sometimes, literally, your guy would jump up in the air, catch the ball, and then land out of bounds, even though he could have just toe tapped it and easily caught it. It was pretty bad. Uh, a fix, uh, added a fix to the disable the 10-second runoff when a team is winning, takes a penalty with less than a minute to go, or in, uh, in the half, or the game. Um, added a fix to aggressive pass rush to help ensure defenders have a chance to jump off sides no matter what formation you're in. Apparently, nickel 335 was like, I guess, a glitch you could you wouldn't jump off sides. So now they fixed that. <clears throat> the level per note The weak box exploit was introduced this year to encourage players to better match the offensive personnel on the field when trying to defend the run, especially heavy run uh, sets with eight or more. Blockers inside the tackle box due to a lot of available feedback, uh, valuable feedback from all players. We have discovered the, the AI could get hit by this exploit. The new logic will prevent it from occurring when playing AI opponents moving forward. Addressability issues in franchise mode added a new tab. You saw that right there. The visual tab, um, you know, so you could actually use your uniforms and coaches that you want that don't refer to your chemistry on your team. Also, they also fixed, um, they added the other new tab you saw for the $10 bundle thing you can buy right here. So, they added this and they added all, they added the um, visual thing in Ultimate Team. So, wow. I mean, a lot of good fixes today. One of my favorite, again, that was that sideline catch animation when you possession catch. And now you won't just like, you know, catch it and then land out of bounds and still try to be toe tapping. It's so weird. They fixed that. Um... They fixed the gunslinger issue when instead of throwing uh, board passes, you throw touch passes. Fixed the ball carrier, broken animations, stuff like that. So they did a lot of good stuff today. You know, there's not many times when they do updates. I'm just like sitting there like, yeah, I, I, I liked all of these. I liked every single uh, part of this update today, uh, update today, guys. 
Tell me down below what you guys think, but I think this update was a great update. So, congratulations, good job to EA on that one, but <laughs> if you have any other issues, definitely make sure, um, I guess they are listening to our feedback, so I guess tweet at them if you have any other issues that you end up having, because I guess they're trying to fix everything they say, all feedback is valuable feedback, so... Hopefully that is true, and hopefully they're trying to fix this game and make it, you know, perfect to all liking. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.